What's going on, people? I hope everybody is doing good. So I wanted to hop on here real quick, man, and address one more thing in regards to the uh, Ann Coulter and Vivek Ramaswamy situation. Okay, just one more thing. Um, I want to point out, I want to point out a difference in reactions. Okay, I'm going to show one reaction of Vivek Ramaswamy reacting to Ayanna Presley accusing her of doing exactly what Ann Coulter did to him to his face, okay? And you'll see how Vivek Ramaswamy reacted to Ayanna Presley, okay? And he was accusing Ayanna Presley of what Ann Coulter actually did to him. Check out this video of Vivek Ramaswamy reacting to Ayanna Presley, accusing her of what Ann Coulter did. Check it out. It is the same spirit, you're right about that, Dana. I think it is the same spirit to say that I can look at you and based on just your skin color, that I know something about the content of your character, that I know something about the content of the viewpoints you're allowed to express. For Ayanna Presley to tell okay, me that's... that because of my skin color, I can't express my views, that is wrong. It is divisive. That is it is a, driving hate that is in this a country. Debate. This is dividing okay, that our is country a debate. to a breaking point. That is and a I debate that is, that is based on- uh, Now you all heard that. I mean, he was really going in. You know, I mean, why? Somebody hold him back. Somebody better hold him back. Okay? Now, I want to show you all how he reacted to Ann Coulter, who actually did what he was accusing Ayanna Presley of doing. This is his reaction. Oh, and I agreed with many, many things you said during... In fact, probably more than than most other candidates um, when you were running for president. But I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. Something about he respects her opinion. He disagrees with her, but he respects it. Uh, she just told me to my face. Wow. <laughs> A very different tone. A very different tone. Now. I've said it in previous videos that most black Republicans and Republicans of colors, for some reason, they have to whimper down. They are cowards. They have no heart to stand up to injustice that's right there in their face if it's coming from their end of the bargain. OK, and that is because they do not want to get booted out of the party. OK. They don't stand up against injustice like they claim. They don't stand up against hatred and racism like they claim. OK, they only try to show that they do stand up against those things if it's from the other party. But if it's coming from the party that they represent, they whimper down, they cower it down and they hush up because that's what they have to do in order to be accepted. That's not of God. When you are of God. When you are of faith, when you are of courage, OK, you stand up against injustice no matter what side of the ball is coming from, whether it's from your party or the other party. If it's wrong, then you stand against it and you speak against it. And they don't do that. And it's sad. man. It's sad. It goes to show what kind of person you have to be in order to be a part of the club. Peace.